So this question is a translate word problem question. Any question that is four or more lines long is typically going to be translate word problem. And all that means is I want to translate each sentence at a time, making sure I understand any quantitative information prior to moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says a cylinder and a sphere both have the same radius, r, where r is greater than zero. So I'm going to notate that by saying rc, which is radius for cylinder, is equal to rs, which is radius for sphere. The cylinder has a height of 16, so I'm going to say hc, or height of cylinder, is equal to 16. The volume of the sphere is half the volume of the cylinder, which means Vs, volume sphere, is equal to one half Vc, half of the volume of the cylinder. Now, there's some things that I know. I know from the first page of the math section that the volume of a, of a sphere is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. I also know from the first page of the math section so I don't have to memorize it, that the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. So I'm going to recreate this equation, my, my translation from this sentence here, basically, that says Vs equals 1 half Vc, and I'm going to replace it with what I know Vs is and what I know Vc is. So that becomes 4 thirds pi r cubed equals 1 half pi r squared h. Now next, I'm going to replace h with 16, because the question told me h is 16. So now I have 4 thirds pi r cubed equals 1 half pi r squared times 16. So now there's a lot of simplification I can do. I only have r as a variable. The question is asking for the value of r, so I'm in a good spot. Um, what can I do? I'm going to first of all turn this into 8 pi r squared, right? 1 half times 16. So I have 4 thirds pi r cubed equals 8 pi r squared. I just want r. So I am going to divide. What do I want to do? I want to, let's get rid of the pi's. Let's divide both sides by pi. So that's gone, that's gone. Let's go this way. And I have 4 thirds r cubed equals 8 r squared. And I want to, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 fourths. There's a lot of variability here, by the way, guys. So as long as you're making your path towards getting r equals, you're going to be good. So why did I do 3 fourths? Well, I want to get rid of this fraction here. So I just have r cubed now. But on this side, 8 times 3, that's 24. Treat that like an 8 over 1, so it becomes 24 over 4 r squared. I have r cubed equals 24 divided by 4 is 6, so 6 r squared. And I just want r, so I'm going to divide by r squared on both sides so that this r squared goes, and r cubed divided by r squared is just r, and I end up with r equals 6. So there's my answer, r equals 6. But in reality, once you are, I would say, once you are at this stage here, there are quite a few different paths that you can take to simplify this and isolate R. So you do not have to find, or do you not have to follow the exact same path that I took. As long as you are isolating R, right, however, however you're doing that, as long as it's proper math for algebra, um, you'll get your, you'll find your way to the right answer, which is six.